the ANC parliamentarians will have to defend its leader in the National Assembly. Last week, the Section 89 report came out and found that President Ramaphosa has a case to answer. This pushed the governing party to urgently convene and at its special NEC meeting, the ANC resolved that all its representatives will vote against the adoption of the Section 89 report. The NEC will vote against the adoption of the report. For some, these are almost similar scenes from the previous administration. This has been an existential uh, challenge for the ANC in terms of brand image, in terms of its value proposition as the ruling party. It's been going through from one crisis to the other, and each crisis and each cleavage becomes even more intensified and acute and chronic. In recent years, the ANC has been docked by divisions, and this has always played out in public, leading to some calling for leadership change. The current ANC President Sir Ramaphosa ascended to the top position on a ticket of getting rid of corruption. Now, it seems the swords are out for him, as he's faced with the Palapala saga. The president announced that he will take the report on review. But what damage has this saga done to the party, especially with the elections around the corner? While this report may not change his position yet, it adds to concerns about the ANC's miserable situation. In the end, this has never been about the president's private financial affairs, who is, after all, a victim of criminals. But it is about the abject leadership failure that allowed the mishandling of a crime scene and the attempt to cover it up when challenged. And so, just as his possible rule-breaking uh, puts the nation's stability at risk, his potential casual law-breaking could jeopardize our national response to future allegations of corruption and abuse of office. Now all eyes will be on next week Tuesday when MPs from different political formations represented in Parliament debate the Palapala report. Ntlantla Katlani, SABC News. Johannesburg.